Hello everyone and welcome to the topic of MEC architecture. In this we are going to discuss, discuss about multi-axis computing architecture. It is an ETSI defined network architecture concept and it enables cloud computing capabilities and IT service environment at the edge of the cellular network. This uh, reference architecture consists of two functional areas. So computing architecture has two functional area. First is host and management. Uh, with the management layer which comprises both the host and system le level administrated entities. The combination of these functional elements provides the foundation which are required to operate an environment for scaling various applications. So this design of MEC is a three level organization engineering. It includes the versatile edge framework level structure. Next is the portable edge level structure and equipment separately. This framework uh, level structure is made out of MEC framework level administration and outsider clients. This administration is primarily answerable for strategy plan upper level assistance investigation and directing versatile edge host to give the administrations. The level structure incorporated they have administration programming and host framework. Multi-access edge computing has a stage application and virtualization foundation. Host level, the board programming is accountable for the administration and activity of versatile edge stage and virtualized framework, which includes administration and director. MEC stage and application offer and trade the data they put away during the assistance provisioning. Mobile edge or multi-access edge computing, it has data for the end user equipments. So to make an open environment, the business rule of this and domain name goal system or DNS, it has a host level structure for the design. This is the network architecture of 5G and MEC. It has MEC user equipment, then a mobile edge host level and then mobile edge system level which have orchestrator operating support system and lifecycle management proxy. So this mobile edge platform manager is basically responsible for the entire application lifecycle and it informs the mobile edge system of any relevant application level events. It also receives and processes status reports and performance measurement information from the Virtualization Infrastructure Manager VIM. So this VIM in architecture it is a critical component and it is for allocating, managing and releasing virtualized compute, storage and networking resources. External operation support system OSS interface with the orchestrator over mobile edge management reference point. The requirements for, uh, for which are detailed in the further specifications by ETSI. So this is the architecture of MEC. Thank you.